Tinnitus can be loud, stressful, and hard to deal with. And if you're currently looking for tinnitus treatment solutions, you may have come across a type of sound therapy called notch therapy. This video will explain the details of notch therapy, if it works, what research can support it, and how someone might try to use notch therapy. My name is Ben Thompson, audiologist with Treble Health. I have been focused on helping individuals with tinnitus for a number of years. Recently, I started a new project called tinnitusquiz.com, which is designed to give you personalized recommendation and result of the severity of your tinnitus based on answering a few simple questions. Please head over to tinnitusquiz.com or find the link below to answer those questions and get started today. First, let's explain what notch therapy is. Just like a piano keyboard has tones all the way from the low pitch tones up to the high pitch tones, similarly, the auditory brain, the auditory cortex, is mapped by different pitch regions. For most individuals with tinnitus, they experience a high pitch tone. That's what my tinnitus is. It's a high pitch tone around 6,000 hertz. What notch therapy does is it takes an incoming sound signal and it removes certain regions of frequency or pitch that are surrounding the pitch of one's tinnitus. This can elicit an effect called lateral inhibition where the neighboring neurons around the tinnitus frequency can be reduced or take the edge off of the tinnitus. And that's how notch therapy theoretically works. So let's say that you're listening to your favorite song and you have this notch filter in place providing notch therapy. Well, that notch filter would remove a small section of tones and sounds from that song. It may change the quality of that song slightly, but to the average listener, we're not able to really pick that up. So it's this almost invisible band of sounds and pitches that is removed from the signal. So what that means is that when you have the music you're listening to, your auditory brain in that certain select pitch region, for me it would be around 6,000 hertz, those cells are no longer receiving sound, so they're no longer being active. This method in the tinnitus world is most commonly used with hearing aids that are on the ears, and inside of the hearing aids, there's this notch filter in place. This is primarily used with Signia hearing aids, we use Signia hearing aids at Treble Health, so we do have experience with notch therapy. And it's something that we can turn on if we feel it's in the best interest of the patient or if the patient asks us about the feature and wanted to try it. If, for example, you have a white noise setting or a pink noise setting inside of the hearing aids that is designed for tinnitus sound therapy relief, then we can turn on this notch therapy filter. And that means that this sliver, this small section of tones, of pitches, inside of the pink noise track in the devices, it's absent. And that is around the frequency of your tinnitus. And that has mixed results in terms of whether that actually moves the needle on someone's tinnitus treatment. It's not the go-to sound therapy treatment that we usually select, but it can have a place. And the research also has mixed results on how well it actually works. It must be noted that notch therapy should never be used in isolation. Instead, a comprehensive tinnitus treatment program, which may include notch therapy, is more recommended. There are different types of notch therapy, and one particular type of notch therapy was developed in 2009 by a team of German researchers. Their study analyzed this treatment for 12 months, where users listened to their usual type of music, but with a filter notching out their tinnitus frequency. They listened to that music for between one and three hours a day, and those results showed a significant reduction in tinnitus loudness and reduced activity in the auditory brain that corresponds with their tinnitus frequency. Now that study is about 15 years old and probably around 10 or so years ago was the peak interest in notch therapy as a tinnitus treatment method but clinically, when doctors are working with patients, trying different approaches to figure out what works best, we realize that notch therapy is not our go-to. And in terms of a standard best practice care for tinnitus treatment today, notch therapy is not something that we recommend for most patients. 
if you don't use hearing aids on the ears, you can still have the benefits of notch therapy. You could use a program like audionotch.com to understand what is your actual tinnitus frequency. And then from there, you could try some other simple online notch filter programs. I personally would not put my attention there. I would focus on other methods that I speak about here with treble health, one-on-one -on -one personalized coaching, getting out of the mental, psychological stress loops with tinnitus, focusing on sleep health, focusing on sound therapy treatment. Those approaches have better results. That's what I see. Notched noise therapy is another way to describe notch therapy. And that's the more classical approach that I spoke about earlier, where you have a pink noise or a white noise, what we call a broadband noise setting. And you have that either playing through hearing aids or through a smartphone app or an online website program. And that filters out the incoming sound. Usually the best way to do this, if you wanted to try it, would be through Signia hearing aids. It's a more sustainable and easy to use way. As I said earlier, our team at Treble Health works with Signia hearing aids in the telehealth domain. So we are able to program this and we have used notch therapy with some of our patients in the past with mixed results. How well does notch therapy work? Unfortunately, notch therapy does not seem to work for everyone, and the research is a bit unclear as to why. One study did show a long-term period improvement using notch therapy. However, the control group that it was measuring against with a standard form of sound therapy also had an improvement. So it's hard to say that notch therapy independently had a positive impact there. Another study compared the use of notch therapy in hearing aids with standard hearing aids programmed for tinnitus sound therapy. And after three months, there was no significant difference between the groups. Both groups did show positive changes and positive momentum in the tinnitus treatment, but we can't say that notch therapy led to any significant improvements compared to the standard mode of care. Lastly, an additional study found that there was longer time frame improvement using notch therapy, specifically improving tinnitus related stress. Now, as I said earlier, the research here is mixed and it's not very strong to suggest that notch therapy independently is a primary treatment for tinnitus. And as I can say, after working with thousands of patients and our online group of audiologists sees hundreds of patients every month, what I can say is that Notch therapy can be used effectively as part of a comprehensive tinnitus treatment program, but it should not be used in isolation and expect great results from it. My name is Ben Thompson, audiologist. Remember, if you haven't checked it out already, I have a new project called tinnitusquiz.com, something I'm really excited about working on and all you have to do to get a personalized result is head over to tinnitusquiz.com and start the free assessment. Thanks so much. Make sure to check out the video above or subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.